Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse. And now let's get into matting the Father's Day mini album using this gorgeous Paper Studio pattern paper pack in a beach theme called Beach House 2 from Hobby Lobby on clearance. Ha! 180 sheets for $5.49. So there's a lot in here and each pattern all the patterns are shown here on the front and each pattern is three sheets each so pull out your cover you'll have two sheets of that front and back and then also you'll have another sheet left over so it's not like you have to go you know chasing around because most pattern papers are you know two of the same pattern but in this case it's three and they're all single-sided so you don't have to you don't end up losing anything on the back either but it's a really, really pretty pattern paper. And I'm going to work it in. I didn't use every single pattern. Um, I kept it more as masculine as possible and what spoke to me. Of course, if you get this wonderful um, paper stack, you can pull out what works for you. And this album, if you make it in time, I know it's a rush, but I last week just wasn't, I couldn't get it together to have it done last week with the funeral and everything, but um, you can do it in time for Father's Day or after Father's Day. What you can do is also, you know, put together the album and then, you know, fill it with photographs from Father's Day and maybe some other places and events and things that you guys have done together and fill the album that way and then give it to give it to your dad or whomever after that. Your husband too, Father's Day. Alrighty, so I took out a few sheets and I already designated, I always tell you guys, designate your cover. So I put my post-it, I'm using these two sheets, this, this sheet and this sheet for the cover. I always pull it aside, kind of did a, you know, in my head, that's, that's what I want to use. So now I, I'm free to use everything else. Here is the front. I got my little F for front. <laughs> you can also put page, you can also stick page one just to know this is the front of your album. <laughs> and let's get started. Alrighty. So now I have some, I haven't done my inside pockets yet. Hmm. No, I haven't done these pockets yet. Yes, let's do that first before I get into. I just realized it now from the last video. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Yesterday was just a long, long day and a very hot day here in South Florida. Felt like a hundred degrees, but but funny, you know, it, the funeral started early and then it just most of the day. I didn't get home. I was out by nine in the morning for the service and then got home like by four I took my mother and who she was exhausted and the kids they only went to the first part the church but they didn't do the rest but at the funeral my bestie i get to the cemetery and all of a sudden there's a mariachi band <laughs> her mother would have wanted everybody to be happy and celebrating her life but just just remember the good times and remember her and you know, see a mariachi band. I was cracking up. I was like, oh, this is, this is too much. But, oh, they were cute. They had on the black and, you know, all black with um, gold and the hat. And, and I'm doing the song, the I, 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 that, that song. Oh, it was really nice. Because the week prior to her mom's passing, she was at a house party for one of her grandsons graduating. And they were playing a lot of all kinds of music. And she was dancing at one point to some sort of, I guess it was that type of Latin Mexican thing. And yeah, my, my bestie found a mariachi band out there at the cemetery. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. It was nice. It was nice. Nice and sad. And then nice again because we were all celebrating. And But anyway, back to the mini album. Let me... Let me do this. I can't find my ruler. Here we go. Here's my ruler. Now for mini album construction, I tell you guys, I love to use Tim Holtz. 
inside front cover front cover inside let's call it that or inside front cover whichever one <laughs> makes more sense to you <laughs> eight and a quarter by three and three quarter all right i'm going to go with the same measurements i had from the previous album because it's the same exact thing i'm like why am i measuring again so cut two sheets two pieces not two sheets two pieces three and three quarter by eight and a quarter so cut two pieces three and three quarter inches. So just take a standard sheet of the same craft, or you could do it in the red too if you want. Um, I'm doing craft here. Should I do red? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it craft. And go eight and a quarter. So you have a choice. And also cut this one off, eight and a quarter. You have a choice here. You can keep it Keep it red to match the cover and the spine or do contrast and keep the continuity on the both sides. Up to you. I kind of like the continuity on both sides. Alrighty, now I'm going to score both pieces. Good to make two pockets. Same down, same standard pocket, not a side loading. I'm not going to do the side. Um, so on the Eight and a quarter inside, I'm going to do half inch, half inch, and then on the three and three quarter inside, again, half inch, again, one more time, eight and a quarter inside, half inch, flip it over, half inch, come down here, half inch on that three and three quarter inside. Now I'm going to put score tape on both. Again, apply it close to the score line, but not on the score line. Alrighty, got my little quilting square. This I buy, this is two and a half inch um, square. This I buy in the sewing section at um, Hobby Lobby. I have two of them. <laughs> I keep one here and I also use one for my crop bag. And this was back in the day when of course we had the 40% off. So it was, I think it's only, I think it's pretty much like 4.99 for it. It's, it's not crazy. But it, it does work well in terms of being like a cutter, a clean, clean cutter for <laughs> double-sided tape, no matter the brand. Bigger roll of double-sided tape, that's when you can use the edge of your trim, of your trim holes. That's when you can use the edge of your Tim Holtz ruler, the sharp edge. Alrighty, so that's my score tape. Now I'm going to fold in. Fold in. I'm still gonna burnish, even though I'm folding in now. I'm just showing, I'm just doing folds so I can see where the line is. Fold in, see it clearer. Fold in and fold in. Take my Teflon bone folder, boom. Hope you guys got yourself a Teflon bone folder. It's just great for mini album, definitely, pretty much a must for mini album making. And, um, also works well for card making. Scrapbooking, not so much. Because <laughs> your scrapbooking is just 12 by 12 and you're sticking everything on a sheet of paper. So it's not essential for that. But, you know, if you're doing anything else, yes, it is essential. You can taper up the top here. Cut on the score line. I like to flip it over. Then on that four corner, which I am having a hard time seeing. Did I do that right? Yeah. I can do it on the inside too. Sometimes it's easier to see it on the inside. Just where the corners intersect. Still need to take off a little bit here. There we go. There we go. Get rid of that. Again, taper. Taper. Oh, I'm having a hard time seeing. I think it's all the lights and I can't see. I can't see the where the four points meet. And notice how I cut it and then I, measure, I see if anything is hanging over. Make sure that that edge is clean. That's why you see me automatically folding. Habit. That's, that's just habit. But a good habit. 
again cutting where the four where the it makes a cross there that's clean flip this over so I can cut this side on that score line and out there we go and done alrighty now let's attach these pockets that I didn't do in the last video I don't know if you noticed but I'm doing it now here's that front cover so I'm attaching the pocket I'm going to hit this little seam right here which I'm pretty sure you guys can see I zoomed it down so you can see I'm going to just try and stay as much in frame as I can so here is the pocket my phone likes to blur when it <laughs> sometimes all right and I'm going to peel the adhesive from all three sides like so and then you're you're looking to center you don't want to be nowhere you don't want to be nowhere you want to you can be near it but not on it on this fold here not good and I want to get this edge I'm focusing right here for that everything else can fall into place after that here looking at both sides looking 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 okay see so I covered up that seam and I'm about mm, a hair off here and a hair off here what you don't want is the pocket all the way flush here or all the way flush here on either end. You don't want it flush. You want it centered, not flush. And I'm not doing the bow because, you know, it's, it's a Father's Day mini album. I'm not doing a bow like the last album. You can if you want, but I'm not doing it. I'm going to just keep the album open. It's okay. It'll still be fine. Or you can attach a closure, but I didn't think of a closure and... I want to get this thing over. <laughs> I need to get this thing like done before you, you know, to give you guys enough time to put together something. Mariachi. All right. Coming again. Okay, so so this side is a little bit easier for me. Don't know why, but it is. There we go. Burnish burnish and burnish so I'm right there on that line and coming out you can I'm sitting and doing this so if it's looking a little off it's because I'm sitting but if you want stand up I feel pretty good about how it went on alrighty so now inside cover is done now let me get my cardstock my not cardstock my pattern paper I think I like this So let's measure. Okay, so this is seven and a quarter. So I'll do seven by, and I want to cover right there to that top seam. Uh, let's do seven and five and a half. So seven inches wide, five and a half inches tall. Again, me and the Fiskers. Me and my oldie, but goodie. Which side do I like? Hmm. Seven inches wide, five and a half. So I'm gonna cut the width first. Why? Because of the pattern. I just wanna get that in place. Always just take it, take your time when you're cutting pattern paper to keep the pattern in line so you don't waste paper. Alrighty. And then what did I say? Five and a half? So I'm cutting one here with the lobster. Oh, I'm gonna cut down a little bit more. Have a little room to play, yeah. And then the other one, I like that fish on top. I like the crab too, but five and a half. You don't wanna go, you don't wanna go like into six and a quarter or six inches and all that because the more you have to tuck in it is the more you're gonna have to um, fight with the paper to go in. And this cardstock is a, this um, pattern paper here is a little bit soft. I'm gonna take off a little bit more. There we go. So that's for the inside cover. And normally it, it doesn't have to be that way, but kind of like the um, inside covers to match. Just for the continuity of the album. All right, which one do I like better? Fish or lobster? You hear me? Which one do I like better, fish or lobster? Lobster. <laughs> Done. All right. 
So, ATG gun. We roll that little piece of adhesive in. Alrighty, taking my cherry tape. I don't have to use, you can use score tape for this part if you want. You can do score tape on all four corners, but you know what, with this paper being so thin, and if you are giving this as a gift and you want it to last a long time, maybe you could use score tape for the whole thing. But that's using it if you have a lot of rolls. If you have one big roll of cherry tape, then you can do cherry tape. It's gonna take you longer though to, oops. It's gonna take you longer to mat the album with cherry tape. Notice how it just, this, this um, pattern paper is very pretty, but it's very soft. Yeah, I know, I know. Quality is not there, but the quality is in this cardstock and the basil. It'll be fine. Just be careful with it because it's a very soft, not like tissue, but almost tissue. All right, let me stand up. I wanna line up with that corner and centered. Remember again? Two fingers, still, still got the two finger thing going. All right, so what you're looking for, see how I went from right there, come all the way out? That's what you're looking for. So you're minimizing this seam and keeping everything in line. This is lined up with this for continuity, okay? Okay, let's continue. I need my bone folder. So I had this other paper pack that I had gotten from um, Hobby Lobby, but I'm gonna take it back. It had a lot of greens and browns and fish, but if you're gonna do that, it was one of those Hobby Lobby paper packs that are normally $9.99, now on sale for $5.99 or something, you'd have to buy at least two or more and then some single sheets. This at 180 sheets, I'm getting a lot, which is nice. Let me do the back two while I'm at it. I feel like I wanna do an add-on, but no, I'm not gonna do the add-on. Keep it simple. If you, if you are going to ink the edges, start inking I should have told you from the first first piece, but start inking everything everything that, that you attach, start inking it. So if you're gonna do black or blue, or you're if you're using this and you wanna do black for contrast, you can ink it. I don't think it needs inking, but you know, I, I have done that for many, many years. It's just, it's, if, if I'm gonna be inking right now, it's gonna slow up everything in this video too. It's gonna make the video longer. All right, I put, a piece of that cherry tape across the top, at least. The part that tucks into the pocket, you can keep this part nice and soft with the um, ATG or with your tape runner, just to control it better. Make sure that no adhesive is on those edges. Any exposed adhesive will stick to what's next to it. And if it doesn't stick initially, it will stick over time. And with this, it's gonna tear. So just, just double check that the edges are smooth. You don't have any adhesive. If you have adhesive, just roll it in, just tuck it in. You don't have to cut it off, just tuck it in. Just roll it in on itself. All right, let me stand up again. Centered. There we go. There we go. There we go. Am I centered? Mm, yeah, I'm gonna leave it. Because this paper here is mega soft. So go a little bit slower with this one if you are getting this. Right there, that doesn't bother me that much. It was more perfect here, but this isn't, it isn't terrible. That first page assembly. Let me see, what do I want? No. I already pulled some, some sheets that spoke to me last night uh, let me all right I just went through a bunch and I don't want to 
bore you guys with, with, with my paper choices. <laughs> How I do paper choices. But I, I can sit here going through papers all day long. And this, this pack has so many options. It's, you know, it's 180 sheets and a lot of pattern. Some of it I'm not even using at all. So you can make a few mini albums with this. Three and a half inches and um, eight and a quarter. So three and a half inches, eight and a quarter. I'm, I'm doing this little matting section here. Three and a half inches and eight and a quarter. Oh, this thing is cutting so buttery because it's so thin, it's cutting so easy <laughs> on my trimmer. Eight and a quarter. So you want to be a quarter inch short of whatever your um, matting. The matting is usually quarter inch short, all the way around. Nine by nine inches, you're going to go eight and three quarter inches all the way around. All right, now here, you see how I'm seeing craft, craft, craft? Again, stick a piece of post-it so I can see where my edge is. All right, let me put some adhesive. This is just woo, thin, thin, thin. Um, for the sake of the video, I'm going to use ATG, but if I was doing this as a gift and I'm using this paper, I would definitely go more along the line of the cherry tape, double-sided tape, score tape. Only the part that tucks in into the pocket, I would then go the ATG just because it's more forgiving in terms of controlling it, okay? I turn the album sideways, that's the front. I'm turning it like so, so I can get to put in this piece and I can see, double fingers again, and I can see the, um, the, the yellow there so I know where my edge is. Okay, let me bring it down so you guys can see what I'm talking. Just eyeballing and, you know, making it even. There we go, there we go, and burn, burnish, 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 burnish. Mm -hmm. So here, I'm catching the red back here, so it's starting to look like, oh, it's not, see how it's starting to look like they all go together, but they really don't? The red cover with the craft, but now it's not looking like, why does she have craft pages with, <laughs> with that red cover? I can't stand it. Now it's actually not so bad. If it's bothering you, then yes, you can make the entire album with ruby slipper in red. You can make the entire album white. You can make the entire album craft. But you're going to have to find, if you're going to use this Michael's Craft cardstock, you're going to have to find a craft basil. Don't use the Michael's for the cover. Even 12 by 12. Don't, don't do it. It's, it's going to crack. Past experience. Trust me. <laughs> Anytime I tell you don't, that means that I did it and I learned the hard way. Save yourself the aggravation. She said don't. Okay, I'm not going to bother. Do basil. Seven by three. Seven by three. Seven by three. So I'm going to cut this now to seven by three. Cut them twice because I'm going to do the front and the back the same way. Notice how I'm keeping it you know, nice and a standard piece. Let me go, and I want, in this orientation, this is another instance where orientation plays a role. If I go three inches here, I'm having it like this. I don't want that. I'm used to doing this, that's, what, that's why I'm moving fast, but I want my orientation like this. So be careful of the seven by three. My three inches is gonna be here, okay? Seven by three. And I do like these little dots, giving that nautical look. So I'm going to cut on both ends of the seven for seven by three. But that's just me. You don't have to do what I do, but I'm just picky that way. <laughs> Alrighty, let me, so let me show you what I mean. This other side of the, the other end of the cardstock um, of the pattern paper has that. So I'm going to come again down here, three inches. And then I do the width and 
Let me, I'll pick this end. Seven. Seven by three. Done. Now you can save. Again, I have my, um, use this for tags, but this you would use as matting on tags. You, I wouldn't do this as a tag straight. It's just way too soft. It's going to just disintegrate. You know, you, you're holding and you flip it two times. It's already tearing. This now I can save for something else. That's why I didn't cut it at seven inches first. Okay. So I'm going to do like so. I'm going to use a little bit of cherry tape because this pocket is going to have, um, be tucked in with, with things. I want it to have a little bit more stability and wear and handle wear, wear and tear. More wear and tear, thicker tape. Go into your score tape then at that point. This I'm going to just use my cherry tape. I could actually use this for a cruise, for a cruise theme album too, actually. If you don't want to do it for Father's Day, it could be a cruise theme because it does have that cruising vibe. I put adhesive. Double-sided tape on all four corners. Peeling that off. Ooh. If you can't get it with your fingers, use a craft pick or a... Some people use a craft knife. I don't like to have a craft knife for this type of thing. I don't want to accidentally cut myself. That would just that would just ruin my little crafting experience. <laughs> or um, use in my case. Let me get my favorite. Oh, my pokey tool. Where are you? Here's pokey tool. And these, I believe, are back in stock at scrapbook.com. And I saw scrapbook.com has um, Gemini Junior cutting plates. Those disappeared, and they're back again. So if you want to stock up on your Gemini Junior plates, this is the time to do it. They keep selling out because I think people are stocking up on them. Those are things here. Just, you know, center. Adhere that. Flip it over to the back. And do this one as well. All right. So I mat all four corners with the cherry tape. I'm going to use my pick because my fingers, I don't have any nails right now. <laughs> I cut them off the other day. <laughs> So normally I, I can get into it, but yeah. I tell you, I love this. I love this craft pokey tool. This, uh, yeah, the crafter's companion pokey tool. Love, love it for dies. It's just, it feels like an extension of my hand. It's a great little tool made by Sarah Davies of Crafter's Companion. How did you guys enjoy the HSN Craft Day? Did you buy your Cricut Maker 3? Or are you waiting to see what kind of deal is going to come out of it? And, or are you buying the old Cricut Maker, which is now at 200 and something dollars on sale? Hmm. Or maybe wait till they have it on Craft Day where you can maybe get five or six flex pay. Alrighty. So that's... Back inside cover, front inside cover. Love this little fence, love this. Now I need to have something here. No. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use, use this. No, definitely not. Lobsters, no. Alrighty, this piece is three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Oh, I like this. It kind of looks like a seersucker type of look. It's kind of cute, actually. It reminds me of fabric. Um, which side do I like? Yes, I am upside down. I'm looking at the pattern. Three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Okay. Let's go that three and a quarter by, oh, I was going to use, I was actually going to do something different, but I didn't. I ended up doing this instead. Eight and a quarter. Let me see. No. Yes. I'm very picky about my patterns. I, I just cannot help it. 
You guys must be like, what is she doing? But I just cannot help. I like my patterns to run a certain way and just look a certain way. <laughs> that's the that's the OCD of mini album making in me. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna put a little cherry tape on the top and bottom. First page and last page. They get um they get some pressure, so I'm gonna just put a little cherry tape on it. Let me do all four corners with cherry tape actually. But this takes longer. The applying double-sided tape will always take you longer than if you run run your um, tape runner or your ATG gun. Always. Which your ATG gun is a tape runner. It's just a big one. <laughs> Again, peeling. Pokey tool. Come on. Be gentle with this pattern paper as it is super soft and it will show every crease. So just be, just be, you know, yeah, see how, see how it is? But it's a great, great buy and it's, it is pretty. Just lining this up. There we go. Burnish. Burnish, 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 burnish. Page one, front of page one, done. Flip it back over. I think I want the lobster. Yes, I like that. I immediately, didn't even have to go digging for it. Six and a quarter by five. Six and a quarter by five. So five inches wide. Remember, look at the pattern again. I'm gonna go right there. Five inches wide with six and a quarter. Hmm. Five inches wide. Six and a quarter. Let me keep my ruler close by. And um, six and a quarter. This goes all the way out to six and a quarter without me having to opening it to open it up. Oh, how do I? Yeah, let me cut off some of this little extra bits hanging here. Six and a quarter, like so. Now you notice how I'm seeing both, so I just wanna be able to see where my edge is. Do like so. I could also stick, um, I think in the last video I was doing cardstock. I can also stick, stick that there too, just to see, just to see where my edges are. Because sometimes it gets hard to see where your edges are. Just having a little drink. Um, cherry tape, top and bottom. If I'm going too fast, just watch the video again. I'm just going faster because I want to be able to upload this thing. You know, I need to edit it and then I need to upload it. And I want you guys to get, get going. But it's not, a, it's not a long, hard album to make, so that's a good thing. And cruising is about to start, so this could definitely be a nice cruise album. Okay, did I have it like this? Hmm. No, I like it like this. <laughs> Don't say anything, I know. I know, did it matter? It, to me, it does. <laughs> so I'm gonna stand up, because I can't see the top. Need to center it. All the way around. There we go. Okay. Oop. That's my scoreboard. Okay, there. Could you do that? Yes. Am I going to? No, but I could. That's a choice too. But still, no. <laughs> no. Ah, mini album making is all about choices. Always a choice. That's another choice too. Still no. Alrighty, so I just, <laughs> I just went through a whole bunch of papers trying to figure, like everything I pulled, I just went through trying to figure what do I want here. Because of the stripes, I'm gonna keep it more simple in the back with this pattern paper. So that is eight and a quarter inches 
for the matting. I'm not, I'm giving you only matting here. Eight and a quarter by six and a quarter. So six and a quarter inch wide. This one here, it doesn't really matter because it's all, you know, neutral. So six and a quarter inch. Let me go on this side though. Six and a quarter inches wide by eight and a quarter inch tall. Eight and a quarter inch tall. This is such, I mean, super delicate. Ooh. All right, let me do ATG. Okay, so see that little part that my finger did? That's gonna go to the bottom. I'm going to turn the page. Doesn't matter the orientation here. Oh, let me stand up too. Ooh. And center it, center it, center it. Now, if you notice, here is going straight out to there. Don't know if you notice that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to be that 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 precise. I'm just like that with when it comes to this mini album making thing. Been doing it for a long time, so you know. Burnish. The burnishing is definitely helping with this type of paper where it's so soft to hold it down. Flip this out. You can just stamp photo or you can do matting. You know what? It would be nice if I have some of that red here. I should have brought some red actually to do a double matting. Hmm. 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 I'm going to come back to this, but I'm going to move on. No. Yes. I like this here. Yes, I have stripe here and stripe here, but it's not bothering me that much. You could also go, but this, see, this stripe is picking up this stripe, but you could do, you could map both sides in the same pattern. That is an option. I could do the whale, but I'm not, I'm not feeling the whale with the lobster. I could do, okay, crafters, for the speed of this video, I kind of decided to pick the pages then mat as I go, but not doing it all live because it's just taking up way too much time. <laughs> and this would be a five hour. Matting always takes the longest in mini album making. You know, I mean, some people just cut and go, but I, I can't just cut, cut and go. Um, the inside flap of this back part of page one assembly is five, five by six and a quarter. So I cut a sheet of pattern paper of course, this is one now where you're going to have to pay attention. See, I had it upside down to the orientation of the paper. So that's five inches wide, six and a quarter inches tall. I did put double-sided, um, no, not double-sided, ATG tape on it. And it is its own version of double-sided, but tape runner type tape. Not double-sided Here now, then I can mat it again in white here and then stamp place photo. So that's a photo opportunity right there. Here also, you can put a five by seven and do a photo opportunity there. Come over here. Let me um, do it like that. This side, this is the front of page two. Here, this little piece, I'm doing one pattern for the whole thing. And that would be three by eight and a quarter, eight and a quarter long, three inches wide. Inside here, I believe is three and three quarter inches by eight and a quarter. I already had put the double-sided tape. In this instance, I'm using the cherry tape. I'm going to try my fingers again. add a little ATG on it as well. I'm going to stand up. If you can't see, right there where the pocket is, just stick a post-it and then you can see where your edge is. Again, burnish, 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 burnish. Now we're going to add that other piece. I can now put Mm, I need a strip out here. I need something out here to see. 
this because it's all it's all um, craft. So I just need something out here. Just contrast helps me see better. All right, I'm gonna put. I already put um, double sided adhesive. I'm gonna just put a little bit of ATG, just to give it a little bit more stick. Sometimes when you leave this open space too open with no adhesive, it gets a little air like it starts to look like an air pocket or it starts to warp over time. So that's why, you know, if you see folks putting that extra little adhesive adhesive, you don't have to do cover to cover of adhesive, but you want to put enough. You don't leave too many spots that don't have adhesive. It'll start to lift and bubble with time. Alrighty. Here we go. I got to stand up again. Again, I'm using my two fingers again to give me that little bit of lift. Slide it in the pocket, just gentle, gentle, gentle. It'll go. And just, there we go. There we are. And burnish. Alrighty, next page, the back of page two. Moving on. Alrighty, crafters. Did a little bit more matting. So I'm gonna be doing the video like that. I'll cut out, cut back in after doing a little bit of matting just to save time. I'm on the back of the page two assembly and I picked the sailboat. I didn't finish sticking all the adhesive, but I did double-sided on some, then a combination, or a half and half. <laughs> so now the kids are out for summer here in South Florida. Yep. Are your kids on um, summer vacation? And um, yesterday I was talking, I was speaking with somebody, um, I haven't seen in a while and she was telling me you know she's a teacher and she, we were talking about crafting and stuff and she's telling me oh I have a colleague who has a cricket I don't know and I'm like oh you love it I said you can make banners for your classroom and all kinds of goodies and you can you know tailor it how you want it she was like it's too complicated I'm like no it's not <laughs> And, um, but if you, you know, you have a machine, a die cut machine, die cut machines, electronic die cut machines are very, very good for things like that type of crafting because of the size. If you're putting something on a wall, it needs to be seen. So the 12 by 12 landscape or area works best for, you know, doing projects for classrooms, teacher's name, um, in my, my daughter back way back when, I used to make make little cakes and then put the, the name of the student and then their birthday month for, for my teacher. She, I just ask her, do you need anything? She's like, what do you mean? At first she said, what do you mean? Then when I gave it to her, oh, I want to do the birthday months for all the students. Oh, I want to do... <laughs> Oh, we have reading across America. Can I get, you know, something with books and reading? <laughs> it got to the point, especially my friend, um, my, <laughs> my bestie, she, she gave, she had me do Dr. Seuss one time, found Dr. Seuss, did a bunch of Dr. Seuss stuff. That was fun, actually. And then it was Harry Potter. I was like, Harry Potter, really? And yeah, I found Harry Potter stuff and, you know. Because with the silhouette store, you can get that type of, um, those type of images. Even if it isn't truly Harry Potter, you can turn something into Harry Potter. Oh, did I give you the measurements here? I'm here yapping about um, making projects for your kid's um, classroom. And then, of course, you can make your little treat boxes too. All right, so front and the inside flap. This is four and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches. Front and inside, same measurement. In here now we're at, I think this is six and a quarter. Yes, six and a quarter inch by eight and a quarter. Six and a quarter inch wide, eight and a quarter inch tall. I chose this sheet of cardstock and as you can see I chose over here too. Let me move this out the way a little bit so I can get to apply my um, tape. 
Yeah, so that's a that's a nice way of you, you know, doing stuff for the classroom. And you can even prepare for back to school from now. Make something. And even if the teacher doesn't know you and you turn up with something, they love stuff. Like if a parent doesn't, you know, they don't have to worry about decorating, you can help them decorate. Oh, they love that. I learned that. <laughs> Junior high and senior high. I did not do this stuff elementary. I wasn't into crafting then when the kids were younger. I wish I was, you know. And it was a teacher. Yes, I turned the album sideways to be able to line it up. It was a teacher who, uh, when I was volunteering, she came in with a cricket one day and I was like, what is this? Had no clue. She showed me, and it wasn't the new cricket either. It was a cricket that you would load in the, the cartridge, that type of cricket. So that's, that's how long ago. And then that was the beginning of the end. <laughs> or that was the beginning of crafting and the end of, oh, well, there's no excuse now. You know, I can, I can make things. <laughs> All righty, so... Did this side, that's page two. Now we come into the front of page three. Got this little piece here, which measures. Um, two and three quarter by eight and a quarter inch. Two and three quarter inch wide, eight and a quarter inch tall. This is the eight and a quarter. I had applied some double sided adhesive. I'm just applying some more ATG just, just for that added stick. Are you feeling these pages? It's kind of cruise ship, isn't it? Or like if you if you go sailing, maybe some of your crafters have a sailboat. You know, you go fishing. You can use this. You don't. It doesn't have to be that brown and green fishing paper that was at <laughs> Hobby Lobby. If if you're making it, you know, and you want it to be both feminine and masculine like this. This is pretty for women and nice for guys. So it's, it's a neutral on both ends. It's not, you know, oh, all that brown and all that green. Because I'm using the craft, which is like a brown, but, you know. And you notice now that you see me matting. Notice how the, this isn't bothering you that much anymore, if it did bother you before? Because I'm picking up the reds in here, and it's all working together if you kind of notice where it's going. So you're only getting just the outline of the craft. If I had done this all red, then I would have this bleeding into the red here too much. It would, I would have to then, I would focus more on the blue. It's all about contrast. With mini albums, it's, it's the contrast that makes it exciting and interesting. Ah, love it, love it. I like this. I didn't think I'd like this paper, but I keep using this one too. And that little paper pad is just giving so much. Like I could make two or three more mini albums from that same paper pad. Of course, you know, the first mini album would have the what you like the most. Because, you know, I'm picking out the covers. I actually did end up using the third sheet for what I was going to use on the cover. That's right here. I had picked this out for the cover, so now I don't have any more of that. But at five five dollars and forty nine cents, you could buy a couple of packs of that paper, and you still be fine. Let me turn it sideways. I like this coming down like that. Again, two fingers, and I, and I went slower in the Mother's Day series, and I will link that whole playlist for you there. if you're interested, that is gonna be slower than this. And you can follow along. If you are going to mat like I'm doing right now, you're gonna to have to watch this more than once. I, I don't, you know, you're watching it now, or watch it then, pull out the paper, and then cut and go, pause, and that type of thing. Cute, page three, back of page three. And I'll be right back. Now we're on the back of page three, and I chose this cute, whale <laughs> cardstock um, pattern paper looking for my ATG and this bottom part for the pocket that's the pocket right there this measures 
Oh, I'll just measure it here. Eh, let me measure it here, it's easier. It doesn't have any adhesive. Six and a quarter by three and three quarter inch. That's what I cut this pattern paper as. So three and three quarter inch tall, six and a quarter inch wide. So just pay attention to the, you know, the pattern so you don't waste too many sheets. Remove the adhesive and adhere. Let me, there. I just need a little contrast so I can see where the line is. And yes, it gets more difficult in black. It, it becomes harder to see all your lines. There we go. That's why in crafting we always have a good light. <laughs> I use um, daylight bulbs, actually, when I'm crafting. Little lamp and um, daylight bulbs. Some folks use the Ot light, the one with the, mag uh, not the, the magnifier. Yes, not a, not a magnet. I was going to say magnet, but a magnifier on it. Did I cut this too short? I might have cut this too short. I think I cut this. Too what was I thinking? Look at that. You see that? I cut it too short. Oh boy. Oh, what happened there? All right. Now in the past, if I had just this one sheet and I didn't have any more and I had made this mistake where you can see it's a little off, right? But I like how it's lining up right here. I would stick this down like so. It wouldn't have as much distance in it, but I would put something across the top here to add interest. For example, just a little strip. I would then break it with a strip, add a strip, use a punch. These are the little things that we do to make it look like we purposely did that when we made a mistake. Do something like that, add a piece of washi. Um, yeah, I gotta find something here. I'll figure something, cause I kinda, I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to cut a whole nother sheet and I already have you know, oh, I don't know what happened. So let me tell you what the measurement is, what it should have been. Five by six and a quarter. Yeah, five by six and a quarter. I must have cut this short. Oh, yeah, I cut it way short. I don't know what I was thinking or not thinking. Probably need to eat. I'm going to have a turkey burger for dinner. burger take off the adhesive and stick it here in the pocket again the two fingers in the pocket in the pocket not so far in the pocket I'm going to go lightly in the pocket because I kind of like see that see this color on the left I like that showing so it's, it's not going to be deep in the pocket this is going to be shallow because I'm continuing the image, continuing the, the pattern right here. So it's, it's not deep at all. I'm just gonna have to figure something here. Yeah, I'll figure something here. When I do the final reveal, because I would have to do another video of continuing matting all of this in terms of um, dressing up the pages. Right now we're just matting, just doing basic matting. Over here now, this is, I believe, two and three quarter, no, three inches, three inches, three inches wide, eight and a quarter inches tall, eight and a quarter inch tall, inch or inches? I uh, can't think. Yeah, I need, I need to go eat my turkey burger, <laughs> but I'm almost done. Now we're on to page four. So, three by eight and a quarter inch for this little pocket. Remove the tape backing. Let me go there, stick it down. I want to stand up to do this because I need to see. Burnish. Oh, you haven't seen me burnish, have you? Burnish, burnish, burnish. 
burnish, 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 burnish. Then now in here, the inside flap, I'm going, is going to be still eight and a quarter inch tall and um, three and three quarter inches wide, right? Yep, three and three quarter inch wide and eight and a quarter inch tall. Come over here, ATG. Remember when you're um, matting pockets, keep what's sticking in the pocket soft, like your tape runner. Wet glue, wet glue with this thin cardstock is not gonna go well. It's gonna warp like crazy, no matter what wet glue you use, because this is just, this is just like paper thin. So this is this is um this cardstock is the kind that's going to require double sided tape and your tape runner to make it work. All right, I'm turning it like so, just for my sanity, <laughs> just for my matting sanity, and I'm going to again have my two fingers there, just gently slide it in, doo -doo. and line it up line it up what i'm lining up is that first edge in the white that's stuck down to continue the line this that's the line so they're little targets that you aim for every time you're matting could have stuck this in a little bit more eh, but it's okay you can always put something here too if it if it bothers you like it's bothering me right now all right, now this side here, this piece here, this measures, um, it's gonna be three and three quarter inch wide by eight and a quarter inch tall. So your height is gonna be eight and a quarter for matting, no matter what. I'm gonna put a little on um, ATG. I did, oh, okay, I did three sides of cherry tape. And cherry tape is the double-sided tape with a great price point from a cherry on top. They make their own double-sided tape. They even came out with their own foam too. Like how scrapbook.com has their own foam now and double-sided tape and um, all kinds of good stuff. So a cherry on top is doing their version as well. And a cherry on top gives you 60 yards, which is a lot. Okay, I think this, yeah, that's the orientation. I have to look at the way that the words are going. If you remember, sometimes you'll stick it upside down, but most of the time you want to follow <laughs> when you have script. Just take your time with it and follow the script, the direction of the writing on the pattern paper. There we go. And burnish, 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 burnish. This does not look as straight as I'd like because normally I'd have my head right here, but it's okay. Alrighty, so on this one we have, oh, I gotta do the outside. I got my little lobster here. The lobster is three and three quarter by eight and a, eight and a quarter inch. So three and three quarter inches wide. And there it go. Um, oh, I just need to put the adhesive, the tape runner on the inside. Got the cherry tape already on the outside. There. just making sure that I am in frame and then after this then we're moving on to the back of the page four assembly and then I'm done with this and then I think for tomorrow because the the dressing up I'm gonna it's gonna take me a little while to figure I'll have that up by tomorrow turn I'm turning it just for my sanity watch the orientation this has both script and lobster facing up, center, there. Do, 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 do. So this is page four. We got, so that's how the it will look. And I'm gonna put something here. I'm not gonna leave it, don't leave that. <laughs> Even if it is just a strip of red, red cardstock, something, just something. I wouldn't do red though, but I'd do a different color just for contrast. Um, I'm probably gonna pull out a punch and do something there. So that's the page four, flip it over, and now I'm going to get out some more pattern paper and finish this up. Be right back. 
Alrighty, let's do the last part, the back of the page four assembly. And that is this base page with the two flaps. Alrighty, so let's get it going. This measures, this now you do um, four by six, yes. So that, that you could actually just put a photograph straight on right here, just a four by six photograph. In this instance, I'm going to do double matting. So I did the red cardstock, I ran out of cherry tape. <laughs> so now I'm back to my scrapbook.com double-sided tape. Uh, when is that gonna come back in stock? I like using the both of them though. For matting like this, yeah, I don't mind. If you wanna go, you know, first class matting, then you can use um, score tape for everything. But you don't, you don't have to but you can, most definitely. First class matting. <laughs> so true though, so true. And you'll know it's first class matting when you start buying rolls and rolls of score tape, you're like, okay, okay, this score tape is getting expensive and I'm using like two rolls just for this album. Eh, one and a half maybe. Alrighty, so there we go. Burnish, 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 burnish. And this is that same ruby slipper cardstock. And then now for the other part here, the inside, the second mat layer, which I can stamp, place photo here, because this is in white. And I will link below where I can, where I get my um, place photo stamp from. Um, Judy, uh, Judy something. I'll link it below. And the measurement on this, three and three quarter inches by five and three quarter. That's the measurement right here. I had put two sides of scrapbook.com tape. Now I'm going to put some ATG. Remove the tape backing and now center it again for double matting. There we go. Oops. I did a little boo-boo right there. That was not smart. Okay. So it would be like this, the finished. So you would have the photograph here. Now, seeing that I just seen that you see the whale, the whale is gonna go here. I like this with the whale showing up here at full size. I just think that's so cute. Anyway, this piece, the matting would be five and three quarter by eight and a quarter. I already did my, um, scrapbook.com tape, applying some ATG. Now I'm going to remove the tape backing. Now I'm going to stand up. And it suits you for the back cover here to put double-sided tape on this. Just because of the little bend right there in the paper, you know, with um, the ATG gun, it can lift, or with a tape runner, it can lift over time. So double-sided tape will hold longer and be, you know, more dependable over time. There we go. And so that folds like so. Cute, 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 cute. Loving all the cuteness here. Oh, this paper is growing on me. And notice, I'm, I'm now matting real time and this is all coming together. So this paper pack is one that gives at $5.49 on clearance. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's just regular sale, $21.99 and you and I think this week now, it's Paper Studios is back on sale. It's still a bargain. If your store hasn't marked it down yet, it is still a bargain then, because you get 180 sheets. And it's a little thin, but everything else brings it up back to being sturdy. Once it's on, you know, this craft cardstock here is pretty sturdy too. In here, this now is gonna be also four by six, and this is that same paper, notice, sail away. Make sure it's not that way. It's the way that the words <laughs> that we read <laughs> in the right orientation. So sail away and then I can put something else on this if I wish. And burnish, burnish, burnish. Teflon bone folder, your mini album making best friend. Now, I'm finally using this one, and this one will be the, I believe it is six and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches. Six and a quarter inch wide, eight and a quarter inch tall. 
I did put double-sided tape. Alrighty, I'm going to remove the tape backing and adhere this tape backing. Now I'm going to adhere it. I'm going to tilt the album just a little bit, just for my sanity. <laughs> Anytime you do this dough, just always take a moment to pay attention to the orientation. You, you know, and if you step away, come back, look at the album before you adhere anything so you don't adhere it upside down. Alrighty, that was not the greatest, but it's okay. Alrighty, there we go. Should have gone just a little bit higher, but it's okay. Oh, I like this over the sailboat. Over here now, this is going to be back to this kind of a tan burlap looking canvas cardstock pattern paper. I'm going to remove the tape backing now and then adhere it standing up again yep there we go Ooh. alrighty maybe I need, see look there I needed to even put even more adhesive right okay are you seeing that with how the paper is buckling that's what I meant when I said this needed oh but this one isn't doing it I don't know why this one is doing it I don't know if you guys can can you can you see that so I probably didn't put enough adhesive on it so uh, you would just go you know a few more now with this seeing that it's doing this I'm gonna put a mat here I'll put something there just to stabilize all of that. And this one isn't doing it, which is so weird. Did I forget to, I, see? Yeah, I must have forgotten something here. I thought I had, huh, or was I, I don't know what happened. And that is it. Now you can stop right here, add photographs. And if, but I'm going to also get into, you know, adding my tags. And I'm going to be using that scrapbook.com exclusive tag die set. Um, I'll show, I'll put a picture in now because I don't have it on me. And I'm going to make a bunch of tags and put that in here. And that would be the next video. Okay, crafters. So until the next video, let's finish up this album for Father's Day. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.